little boy who, when they would turn our lights out, which they used to do all the time, <laughs> this little boy who turned his flashlight into dancing comets on the wall. Who taught me that? I gave you the flashlight. You came up with the comets all on your own. <laughs> One of those comets escaped through the window, over the roof, past the moon and beyond. Comet Noah, blazing through the galaxy, picking up light along the way. And when your comet came back, it brought you to you. May I borrow that flashlight? <laughs> <laughs> it's yours. I marry you in the name of light. You solemnly swear that you'll never let the light go out. Never. It lives in her eyes. All I have to do is look at her. We all have different ways of getting through our time on this wall of rock. My technique was to ignore anything that I couldn't find in my law books. I turned off that little voice inside my head that told me what was right and what was wrong, what was just, what was unjust. I lost that little voice. Absolutely, totally. And you all saw how wrong I went. And nobody paid for it more dearly than Noah and Julia. So, what am I doing here? Why am I invited to the most important event in their lives? Well, I could ask the bride and groom, but that little voice inside my head said, Jack, don't push your luck. <laughs> but at least that little voice is back. And I have both of you to thank for that. And that little voice told me one other thing. It told me that you, you understand how badly, how much I need your forgiveness. You got it. We're square. That's all right. Thank you. I almost buried myself, and I almost buried the both of you. But you trusted each other. You trusted your love for each other. You trusted that the truth would out. So I marry you in the name of trust. Please. Always, always trust each other. Promise always to trust each other. First, last, and always. I know that we don't know each other very well. I felt compelled to tell you something. About fear. I don't know why some people have this gut-wrenching fear of breaking rules, but I somehow became one of those people that joined the normal group and sort of kept perfect pace to the status quo. I mean, take chances, me, not likely. But I think a little more likely now because of you. What I would like to say is it is true we don't know each other that well, but I think I've watched the two of you elevate risk to an art form. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a memo to myself from you, Julia, and from you, Noah, that says sometimes you just have to take a breath and climb up that ladder and, and jump off without a safety net because courage does not mean not having fear. It means having fear and doing it all the same. And so I, I marry you in the name of courage. And I want you to keep brave for each other. Noah makes me brave. Julia makes me brave. I've never been one for epiphanies. Everything I know, I learned by the age of 10. Rule number one of the Chandler Code is a dogged persistence is the root of success. If you want something, you believe it's right, never give up, never give in. Julia, Noah, thank you for proving 
what I've known all along. <laughs> I marry you in the name of persistence. Never lose sight of your goal. I remember Noah's job in a... Well, if you can call it that. <laughs> All right, Julia, I will give Noah the job. But I am moving to Budapest. <laughs> uh, do you mind my saying you were a bit prickly? <laughs> I looked at you and I saw difficult man. Highly intelligent, but impossibly stubborn. A man very much like myself. Noah, you and I carry a lot of armor. It takes a very special person to break through. It's good to be strong. Pride is a fine thing. But too much of it. Let me tell you, Never let your pride keep you from Julia. Never let your pride tell your heart which way to turn. I marry you in the name of surrender. Letting go of whatever holds you back. I was sick and cold and desperate. And Noah took care of me. He was kind and gentle and patient. But he wouldn't tolerate anything but the truth from me. He forced me to be honest with him. And I only wish that I had been honest with myself. Lies are the most destructive thing. Noah, you have never been afraid of truth. You don't even flinch. It's your greatest quality. And it's one of the reasons that your marriage is blessed. I marry you in the name of truth. Promise me that you will always be honest with each other. I'll never lie to you. Nor I to you. Only the truth. Forever. I'm not going to hurt you. I wouldn't. But if Kinder comes back here and he finds you like this, you got to get back to bed. Get back to bed. Come on. Just get back And when she finally left here, I couldn't even keep myself anymore, honey. I just, I, I, I couldn't stand the sight of her anymore. I just wanted her gone. I wanted her out of our lives. I wanted her. I, I mean, I, I pray that we just never lay eyes on her again. We are only human. We we'll beat ourselves up because we can't work up any major affection for Kelsey. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe in a few years she's gonna grow up and, and get her act together. But right now, right now, Sam. Mm. I'm just glad she's doing it 3,000 miles away.
my sister's biggest concern back in the day was styling mousse. And that was followed by eyeliner and then lip gloss. <laughs> and her first leopard spandex. And she made me paint her toenails every three days. And true, the woman you see before you is not the same woman who streaks her hair totally orange. Oh. Julia, you were always so beautiful. You just never believed that. No, you always thought it was something. Something wrong. Yeah, her hair, her skin, her figure. But that was all before you came. To my absolutely beautiful sister was so obsessed with her looks I think because you were sort of shaky about what was going on in here inside and you were afraid of not measuring up and then Noah came along and you saw Julia not for just the beautiful girl that she is but you saw past that and you saw more than that you, you saw that Spark. And you kept it going when circumstances conspired against you and, and tried to put it out. And you set our Julia free to be herself. Free to be a beautiful person that she always was, a remarkable person that she always was. So, I marry you. And you. <laughs> In the name of freedom. A lot of people tried really hard to keep you guys apart, but you guys stood up no matter what. And I want to marry you. In the name of... In the name of unity. Right. <laughs> Never. Let the naysayers get you down. Guilty as charged. <laughs> oh, Papa, it's not about you. <laughs> no. Noah, I misjudged you. I'm sorry. I did not know you. But you see, I am old-fashioned and set in my old ways. All I've done all my life is care and protect from my family. That's the way I am. That's what I learned. That is my way. So, uh, I mar we marry you in the name of family. Now you become part of our family. And from this day forward, you will be my son. And I thank God for it. You can call me Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Let me work on it. <laughs> Welcome to the Santos family. The Santos Keeper family. The Santos Keeper family, yes. Hi. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> we all now pronounce you. Can I um say something?